Mastering Idioms, The Art of Avoiding Overuse and Misuse Hello language learners! Today we're going to dive deeper into the world of English idiomatic expressions. In our previous videos, we've learned about what idiomatic expressions are and how to use them. But today, we'll focus on an essential aspect, avoiding the overuse and misuse of idiomatic expressions. This will help you sound more natural and fluent in English. Let's get started. First, let's understand what we mean by overuse and misuse of idiomatic expressions. Overuse refers to using too many idioms in a single conversation or piece of writing, which can make your English sound forced or unnatural. On the other hand, Misuse is when you use an idiom inappropriately or in the wrong context. It's important to strike a balance between using idioms to enhance your English and ensuring it doesn't overshadow your communication. To prevent overusing idioms, we must first identify when it's happening. This usually occurs when one uses an idiom in nearly every sentence or thought. It's like putting too much seasoning on a dish, it overpowers the other flavors. Similarly, using too many idioms can distract from your main points and confuse listeners or readers. Try to limit your use of idioms to one or two per conversation or paragraph. Avoiding misuse of idioms is all about understanding their meaning and context. Not every idiom fits every situation. For instance, saying, break a leg, in a hospital setting might cause confusion. It's crucial to know the exact meaning of the idiom and use it only when it aligns with your context. When in doubt, opt for clearer, more literal language. Here are some tips to help you. 1. Study the idiom. Understand its meaning, its origin, and where it is commonly used. 2. Practice in context. Try using the idiom in sentences or conversations. Feedback from native speakers can be particularly helpful. 3. Less is more. Remember, idioms are the spice of language, not the main dish. Use them sparingly. Well, there you have it. A guide on how to avoid the overuse and misuse of idiomatic expressions in English. Remember, the goal is to sound more natural and fluent, not to impress others with how many idioms you know. Use idioms to enrich your English, but use them wisely and sparingly. We hope this video was helpful. Stay tuned for more exciting topics. Happy learning!